Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a historic hauntings video on Alcatraz Prison. Uh, before we get into this, uh, it's that time of year my allergies are kicking my butt, so just, you know, bear with me. I'm sorry. If, if I make disgusting noises, please forgive me. All right. Um, Alcatraz Prison sits on Alcatraz Island in San Francisco Bay. It was first discovered in 1775 by Spanish explorer Juan Miguel de Ayala. A-Y-A-L-A, -A -A, Ayala. He named the island La Isla de los Alcatraces, the island of pelicans. And I hope I'm saying all that right, especially his name. Everybody deserves to have their name said right. The U.S. Army began construction of a military fortress on the island in 1853. It was named Alcatraz. There are no records uh, that I know of. I believe no records were kept as to how many deaths occurred while it was active as a military fortress. But there are catacombs beneath it and other, you know, we, we just don't know how many people died there. But due to climbing crime rates during the gangster era, Alcatraz began a makeover into a prison suited for such hardened prisoners in 1934. Some of the best known inmates of, the, of this prison included Al Capone, Robert Stroud, uh, known as the Birdman of Alcatraz, Machine Gun Kelly, and Doc Barker of the Ma Barker Gang. Alcatraz finally closed its doors in 1963. The ghostly happenings at Alcatraz are numerous, recurring, and often. Uh, they happen a lot. <clears throat> strange People hear strange wailing sounds. Uh, they they hear disembodied male voices actually speaking to people in different cells. Uh, they hear footsteps throughout the place. I mean, you can't. Evidently, I've never been there, so I can't say for you know from personal experience. But it's my understanding. No, no matter where you go, you're going to hear footsteps. They it, they just echo through the place. Unexplained odors, including that of smoke, which is kind of crazy. Uh, apparitions. People see apparitions all the time. Unexplained sobbing sounds in specific cells. They see orbs all over the place. Um, cell 14D, which is down in the hole. It's, it's, it's like solitary confinement, basically. It is icy cold all the time. And I mean all the time. And, and that's not all. <clears throat> The number of deaths at Alcatraz number at least in the dozens. Now, again, we don't know what happened prior to it becoming a prison because no records were kept. However, after that, when, when once it became a prison, they kept records because they had to because of the inmates. So here we go. Eight were killed by other inmates while it was a prison. Five inmates committed suicide. Fifteen inmates died from natural causes. Cell blocks A, B, and C, as well as the laundry room, hospital, and the warden's house, are all said to be haunted. Um, ghosts of note include two guards who were killed in a shooting incident in 1946. Inmate Abby Butcher. Uh, let, me, let me start that one over. Inmate Abby Butcher Maldowitz. He, he, his name was Abby, A-B-I-E, Abby, Abby Maldowitz. They called him Butcher. He was murdered in the laundry room, and apparently he's still there. Um, mob boss Al Capone is still said to play his banjo in various parts of the prison. That was his thing. He, you know, instead of going out and having wreck time in the yard or whatever, he preferred to play his banjo in the shower room. He liked the echo, I guess. I don't know, but the, they hear his banjo throughout the place, various places. Uh, in 1982, a radio personality spent, and I'm, I should have wrote down his name, damn it, sorry. A radio personality spent the night in Alcatraz with a psychic. He was a notorious skeptic. This radio personality was a notorious skeptic. At 3 a.m. in the utility corridor where three inmates died during the Battle of Alcatraz in 1946, um, a bit of history, a group of inmates tried to escape Alcatraz. They had a plan. When the plan went tits up, they there was a shootout right there in the prison. I think that's where these two guards were killed, but I don't know. It may be a different incident, but um, 
the the inmates were holed up. They, they ended up getting forced back into this utility corridor, and that's where the shootout occurred. <clears throat> this radio personality in that um, utility corridor where these three inmates died, he claimed he got a tremendous feeling of great anger and felt an evil presence lying on the floor. He started cursing and said he felt a strong compulsion to fire a gun at people. Now, th this guy was a notorious skeptic. He, the, the psychic that was with him, they had, as, as I understand it, they had a, a, a video camera with them to try to capture some ghostly evidence in case they found some. This guy's eyes were wild. They, they looked... It, it was a he, he was a different person at that point. We'll just put it that way. Any way you want to slice it, Alcatraz is one of the most haunted places in the world. They have tours there. I, I at least they used to. I don't know if they still do or not. But that would be an interesting place to visit, in in my opinion. Um, as I understand it, there are so many ghosts there that people have lost count, and I can I can completely understand that because. It had a storied history before it became a prison, and then they stuck some of the worst people in the worst dregs of society in there, and a lot of them died there. So, you know, say what you will. That's good place. If there's a haunted place on the planet, Alcatraz would be it. I hope this finds everybody well. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all. We elect cookie cutter politicians every single election cycle. Yes men who maintain the status quo and do just enough to make us believe the system still works. Imagine, if you will, a president who actually tries to fix things. If you like action, political intrigue, and a righteous crusade, check out my political thriller, The Righteous President.